Hi everyone, Kristen here. In today's video, we are gonna build a smart resume analyzing system that's gonna be a game changer for recruiters, will speed up your hiring process, and also in this material we'll just um, create it step by step. I will have for you a free JSON template to download and also all of the instructions, so keep watching this material. So simply without unnecessary speaking, let me explain you how it works. So firstly, we've got a trigger, which is Gmail. So we search for new resumes actually that um, appear in our inbox. And there also we apply the filter. So we make sure this is the resume. Then what we do, we upload the file. Um, we download this file from Google Drive. And what we do, we extract the data from the specific file. We use um, our specific notes, so our AI, um, to extract the most important information. We format it, we use the code note to actually clean the data. And at the end, we save all of the data inside Google Sheets. That's pretty everything. This automation won't be that complicated. Also, remember, you've got different alternatives. So for an example, instead of Gmail trigger, you can use on form submission, Slack trigger, or any other application you use for your hiring process. Right now, I sent an email to myself that contains the specific resume. So this is the sample. And we've got the summary, experience, education, certifications, projects, and so on. Um, so what I can do, I can simply click on execute workflow and what it does, it retrieves this specific resume from our Gmail. It uploads it to Google Drive, downloads it from here and uses AI um, to process all of the data. And then what it should do, it should save the data inside our Google Sheets right here. So we should have the name, email, number, um, skill set, even the score given by AI, justification, so why AI thinks like it's seven not for an example, four or 10. And it's great actually, because it processes all of our resumes um, without us doing anything. And you know, um, it can save you a lot of time in long term. And also remember, I share this specific file. So this template, um, along with the A agent instructions, totally for free. So if you open the link that will be in the resources of this video, you will find our 100% free community, which is A enthusiasts, and then you just go ahead to Classroom, to YouTube resources, and you find the Resume AI Analyzer. You've got actually the data for, for an example, Information Extractor, AI Agent, um, along with all of the instructions and JSON template. So you can find it here, you can download it, and then import that inside um, your workflow and use this entire automation. Nevertheless, for now, let me guide you through um, how it works so how this automation performs step by step. Okay, so first things first, we've got a trigger. So let's click here. And now, as you can see, we've got a mode which is every minute. So it checks for the new email every minute. And what is actually sophisticated inside the specific node is the filter because we've got the search option. So here we tell, okay, um, every email that comes to my inbox, um, you actually check. Um, needs to have an attachment, all right? So this is the specific um, code. This is a specific sentence you need to use. Also, if you go here, so you click on more info, you will get all of the information. So all of the operators and um, examples, how to use them and so on. So actually, you know, um, you can use them um, one after another. And here again, what I used has attachment, file name. So I checked the extension, which is PDF. And also I checked for the name, which is resume, okay? Um, so I check these specific, um, actually free um, yeah, conditions. Also, I, add an, I added an option, which is attachment prefix. So I name it as CV. So, you know, actually um, what do we do? We change the name for this specific file to CV zero for that case. And also we download an attachment. So we return this specific um, resume. So if I download it, uh, yeah, it's downloaded. That's perfect. Next, what we do actually, we upload this file to Google Drive. So in general, we've got the resource, which is file, operation upload. Uh, we specify the data field name, which is CV0, as we have here. Also the file name. I've taken the file name from this specific step. So what we have, we've got the value. Let me scroll down here. Uh, where do we have the name? So actually I've taken this specific variable, as you can notice, so we've got the name, um, it's great. And what I've done, I picked my specific folder. So just pick your folder, for me it's job resumes, and then I uploaded the file right here. 
Um, after I've done it, I used Google Drive again, the, the same note. However, here the operation is download. So it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. We only provide the JSON ID. So we just drag and drop this specific variable here. And then you've got the ID, you indicate which file you should you should upload. Um, actually, you should download, all right? And we do this for the further step, which is extract from file. This specific note inside NADEN allows us to extract um, from PDF, from JSON, from HTML, um, you know, even XML. However, we need to have binary field. So binary file, and that's why we downloaded this file from Google Drive. Um, so we specify the name of the file, which is, so this is the data, okay? And we've got input binary field. And there in the keep source, we've got a JSON. We execute the step and what we get in return is, let me show you, is our text, all right? So let me scroll down. We've got the entire text from this resume, which is great because it's automated. We don't need to do anything. Actually, everything is returned for us. Great. The next step is our information extractor. We use the specific node and what we do. Uh, we specify the text we want to um, actually know um, extract and modify. So what we have, we've got the text from here. Um, where do we have the text? Let's scroll down. We've got here the text. I put this variable here. Great. Um, and then I used this specific code that indicates that we want to actually um, return an email phone number, and here even we've got the name, okay? So these three specific fields. Uh, we've got there the name, email, phone number, that's great. And in general, you can find this specific code to copy inside our community. So again, here um, you can find it. It's totally 100% free, so join. We've got a lot of different, you know, um, YouTube resources. Um, you can get access for free. So yeah, it's worth it. Um, after we do this, after we extract this, um, these three fields, we go ahead to our A agent. And also, um, remember, we are using OpenAI model, so I'm using GPT-4.0. Um, so you just simply click on model, you click on plus, um, and then you add it. Um, let me show you. Simply, you can click on the plus and you can add it. So for an example, OpenAI, that's great. However, for that case, even we can, you know, like connect a agent, um, like these two specific nodes to one model because we are using the same model, okay? Um, so we can do this. Um, however, for this A agent, what we do, we give it our resume and we provide the variable from extract from file step. So again, we just pick, pick our text, I'm sorry. We just pick our text and we provide it here. Um, it's pretty the same, actually, it's the same, you can see. Um, for the options, we enable the system message. Inside the system message, we've got really sophisticated instructions. So the purpose, how it works. Um, so for an example, you are a CV evaluation and summarization agent. Your task is to extract key information from a CV and output it in a clean structured format. You must also evaluate how well the candidate fits a specific um, specified job role and assign a relevance score. Um, so we've got one to 10, even we can type the score. Um, followed by a short justification. So not, not only we retrieve the data from um, the specific text, but also we've got two additional fields. So score and justification, um, I can say it's a huge game changer because actually, you know, you've got a help from AI every time you get and you resume on your social media, um, actually on your platform um, when you're, you know, like um, running the hiring process. And again, I said it can be on form submission, it can be Slack, it can be Notion. Uh, you just decide, okay? And only you exchange uh, change the trigger. Um, however, what I said, um, it's a huge time saver because you store all of the data here inside Google Drive, and then you don't need to like map it manually and spend a lot of time. Whatever. Other instructions we have in this agent um, is, for an example, you know, um, how it works: extract, summarize information from the CV all of the data for for that evaluate the candidate for the job type for the job role so we exactly describe you know um the the ratings additionally what i've done um i've used one technique which is actually this one so create the content this way so the code can retrieve the data 
And then what I what I did actually, I pasted the code I used in the further step for this automation. So this is the code. However, sometimes it didn't work. You know, sometimes it didn't return skill set score. So these specific brackets were blank. So then what I've done, I've taken this code and provided it to an A agent for the reference, so it knows how 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 to respond. Okay, but um, to the point. Um, after we run this agent, we receive the output. And then what we do, we um, provide the edit fields node. And we map the content, um, actually we map the output as the content, so we change the variable name. And then uh, we just provide a code node that actually, you know, retrieves for us the education qualifications, job history, skill set, score justification. This code is sophisticated, however, I've created it for you. Um, and also you can download it, actually copy it from here. So from our community, you've got the entire code, also the instructions for a agent. Uh, and that's great. And that's great. You don't need to do anything, actually. Without even coding skills, you can do this stuff. That's so cool. Um, after we do this, we open the row in a sheet. So in general here, um, you know, we, we just provide all of the data. So we've got a name, name from the information extractor. So here we've got the name, email, phone number, and the rest information... Um, is from, you know, um, here, this code node. So, skill set, qualifications, job history, score, and justification. Um, that's pretty everything. Now what I can do, I can again send to me um, some resume, and you will see how it works um, with other circumstances. So I've sent again a resume, however, for now it's for John Smith. Uh, and there, actually, we've got experience. I guess the experience is more relevant to our job description. Um, so I will show you that we'll have the higher score, um, if that makes sense. However, for now, we can execute this workflow and now see if we have for... Yeah, we've got for the John Smith, so the specific file. And I'm very interested how it will work. So we've got information extractor, a agent that yeah, gives us the entire content. Um, this automation also is pretty, um, pretty fast. So right now, yeah, what we have, John Smith, email number... And the score, which is nine. So the candidate is an excellent match for the full stack developer role with over five years of experience in building scalable web applications and APIs. John Smith has strong skills in React, Node.js, and modern JavaScript frameworks. Great. And by this way, we've created the entire system that actually, you know, um, handles for us all of um, the resumes. It speeds up um, our hiring process and does everything for us. So actually remember to join our A Enthusiasts community. Inside, we've got a lot of resources. And if you think of actually expanding your knowledge with NADEN, learning more, um, feel free to join our A Agent Accelerator. Also, I will put the link in the description of this video. So inside, we've got actually plus 30 hours NADEN course, beginner to pro course. Inside, inside you've got plus 110 um, and I then templates, you know, like a lot of automations, rack research agents, advanced A agents automations, business support A agents, like a lot of value, you know. Um, and the price for now is pretty low because we've got uh, $39 and the price will go up with 150 members. Um, however, as I said, we've got a huge value inside. Um, not only we've got an Aiden course, we've got actually premium YouTube resources, a lot of them right here. So VO3 video generator, Clink 2.1 NA10, um, and also premium templates uh, for NA10, like a lot of value and the price for now is pretty low. However, feel free to check it out. No pressure at all. Um, for now, thank you for watching this video and I will see you at the next material.